Hey guys, welcome back to Salem. My name is Zach and in this video I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks as into what you can do with mouse commands and stuff that it's not really mentioned anywhere except for quite rarely on the forums or in the comment sections of my videos. So I'm gonna show you what you can actually do and it'll save you a lot of time when doing all kinds of things. So first up, you see my inventory, I got plenty of things here. So let's say I want to shift them between my inventory and a container. Now you could do it by doing it like this, you pick it up and put it down, but shift left clicking will instantly teleport items between your containers. Now this works with your backpack as well. And I think backpack takes priority over a basket. So if you open a basket and your backpack, it'll go between your backpack and your inventory. So there's that. And also besides that, you can control click and it will drop it on the ground. So if you want to get rid of a lot of stuff really quickly, you can just control click them away. Now, using these uh, grass things, I'm going to add some compost. Now typically you would left click and right click onto the compost heap and you'll see Ah, the grass symbol didn't go away because I'm holding shift. If you hold shift while placing items in here, you can just right click, right click, and right click. And then it goes to the next closest thing. You can see it went to the berries on the straw. So holding shift and right clicking items to put them in a container will allow you to transfer them into something really quickly. Now, I'm going to show you something as well. I mentioned in my land leveling video, but if you press Control L and bring up the land leveling here, there we go. I think that's good. Okay, I'm just going to show you this. Now, when you're digging land, you just press dig, and if you Control left click, you will dig until this land is even with the square it's leaning against. So as you can see here, it'll dig down until it's just about level, as you can see there. But then, of course, if you control right click to put it down, you'll drop the land. Yeah, you'll drop the land until it's level again. So this is really useful for leveling land. So remember, it's all control. Control left click to dig it down or control right click to level it up. All right, then something that will be really useful once you get to higher level structures. When you're building a structure, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and build a structure I haven't got yet. Um, a kiln. I don't have a kiln yet. So when placing a structure, it now snaps to the grid, as you can see. If you, so if you do it like this, and then it's too close to the edge of the fence, so you can't place it here. If you try to place it here, it won't, because there's not enough space. But what you can do, is, oh, also, the problem is if you do it here, it's too far away. If you hold control, you'll release it from the grid, as you can see here. So before I place it, let me just line myself up. And I'm going to place my kiln. So that's too close. Control to free it up. I'm going to place it right here. Oh, it's still too close. Well, you get the idea. So you can place the kiln a bit more freely when you hold down control. Let's try that. Now oh, that'll work. So you can get it a bit closer to the fence than you normally would. Now, as you can see, a kiln takes 45 clay. So if you're going to be doing this, you know, left clicking to transfer it one by one, it's just not going to work. So what you can do is if you hold down shift and you use the mouse wheel on top of this window here, you can see mouse wheel down, transfer it all in, mouse wheel up, takes it all back. This can save you a lot of time. Can you imagine taking 45 pieces of clay and clicking them one by one? It will just take forever. And I heard something like a windmill takes hundreds and hundreds of stone. I know that's supposed to be a group project, but uh, I think this technique will really help you out. Okay, I actually missed one more thing because I didn't know about it, but someone mentioned in the comments, I have to re-upload this video, but it's quite important, especially when you want to place fences, and it's actually changing the direction of the building. So you see here, when you want to place a fence, especially when you want to line it up with another one, when you place them, you can hold shift and use the mouse wheel to change the orientation of this building, which is very useful and very important, especially because you can't build gates unless the two blocks are perfectly aligned. So that is quite important. All right, that's it for all the mouse tips and tricks in Salem. I really hope they put this in a in-game guide somewhere or some kind of control mechanism. 
Alright, that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next video.